How are you doing Ralphie here, Ralphie Customs? Um, I'm not actually living out in the countryside for a week and filming that so we'll get back in the workshop and let's see what's what. Okay, my chachos, you may remember the uh, Yamaha 650 that we fitted this fuel tank on and lots of people quite rightly said about fitting a balance pipe because the two halves of the tank are so split by the divide line. Now, I spoke to Richard, the owner, and he has gone for his solution, which I, I think is a really good solution, is twin fuel taps. So we're going to set another fuel tap in here, and then it's going to run them to a T to the carb. So you can have one on, both on, none on, etc. It means I've got to make a fucking boss with a quarter BSP, or uh, I think it is BSP actually. I was going to say NPT, but I think it's quarter BSP thread that's got a 3.8 sleeve on it but we'll take that off and just double check it's quarter BSP and then make a fucking boss and weld it in so we use the old ice speed steel take a clean up pad just hold on zero me. I need uh, what do I need 313, I need 13 mil at 25, well, total job 13 mil, so let's have that off there. Stop that, stop that now. Let's see what we're at. We're at 28.8, so I'll set my read out, hold on. 28.8, enter, and we want 25, so we'll be straight in for that, straight in for the kill. 25 which is fuck off there and away she goes captain a little bit of lube because that's where it separates you from the animals and you can join me again once we get onto the next size now 19 and a half for 10 mil long so just touch off at that and there she starts cutting a little bit of lube there's five mils are halfway there six seven eight nine ten bang on happy fucking days now I've just changed that tool in now turn that off for a facing bit excuse me still see all right kind of trying a new camera angle and to be honest I'm not sure I like it but let me know in the comments below so we should I just want to square this shoulder up so Nice and gentle. Come on, touch on there, look. There, and take it in and wind it out. Happy days. So, that's it. We need to part this off. But what I'll do first is drill down the 11 point, uh, whatever it is, 11.7, 11.8. I much prefer having it there like but 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 I'll put it where you want it, missus. Oh yeah, the light's gone out. Perfect. 
There we go. So, well, fucking hell. It's like thunderstorms. So we'll give that a quick centre drill. I'll go straight in to the 11 point, whatever it is. Uh, I'm going to just back, bear with, that's 10 mil on the scale, so touch off and go in. And I need 13 plus a cut, 16. So 16 mil thereabouts. Right, put a good chamfer on. Like that. And break that outside edge. First part. Like that. Now we can part it off. We want three mil on the flange for where this is. Which puts his dur going to my calculations. So we just have that in it. It can push it all off to one side of it because it's not going in straight, so we'll just look, we'll just do a few in and outs just to get the ball rolling. And now we'll go for power feed mode and plenty of lube. So, oh, I really want to catch this. Like, come on. Done. I know, so I'm just going to come back in with my potting tool up, just hit pink, that off, pink, like that, and then give that a really good fucking camper. Before, I just want to break that edge with them little fire all up, and now we'll get in tap. Okay, so I don't have a fucking machine tap in course of BSP. So what I'm going to do is use a hand tap held in the collet holder. Yeah, like so. And hope that it fucking has it right. I've got my hand on the stop go fucking switch. Come on. Come on all the way through. That's the one. Yes look at that. Ali fucking Luya. So we can now just wang that backwards. Yeah, you fucking go. Energy thread. So, we'll take this over to the tank, drill an hole in it, weld it in. Oh, fucking. I thought long and hard and fucked about and tried to fucking make sure it was in, this was in the right place like but I'm just fucking guessing in the end. I've just had a guess. So, let's see what happens. This fucking pilot drills on these stare at fucking also as a wank. Yeah. Do you want me when I've drilled it? Fuck it. One down, one all down. Let's get fucking Get busy with the old shot. Come on, baby. Come on. Whoa. Whoa, that killer. I don't want this tearing itself up now, do I? Dropped in the hole. Yeah. Oh well. So that should do this. Yeah. Like that. So get a bit of weld around it. And bumps your jolly old. Right now, 
to retrieve. I don't know if you can see, but this old smoke here. And to try and retrieve, fucking hell. The fucking man. Hey, straight off. But look at the shit that's coming out where. That fucking tank is just full of fucking crap and rust and shit. Ain't it? Have another dive, eh? See what comes up. Just to have a scoop round, look. More fucking hell, it's fully loaded, that is. Yeah, that fucking definitely needs a good clean out, doesn't it? You have it, look, there's it. That's the effect. They won't be facing that way, they'll be facing the other way, but they'll have ceiling washers and shit, and not washers that go into the ceilings before some smart horse fucks her. <laughs> says it. There you go. So, yeah, that's fixed it. That is a good workaround solution, and I'm really pleased with the result. Happy days. Don't forget, folks, our fuck stock stickers are now available in our Etsy store. Link in the description below. Fuck stock, you know it makes sense. So, so back to the triumph, and what we need to do is make the uh, master cylinder fit the rear sets fit the foot pegs and controls and the rose jointed bit that I've got for this is M6 and that's M8 so we're going to make an adapter <clears throat> out of stainless steel there it is look 12mm M6 and then a bit 30mm long 16mm diameter with an M8 thread up it and I'm probably going to mill two flats on it for a span so a bit of stainless chucked up and we'll get the first order of operations is to machine 12 mil down to 6 mil in diameter and cut an M6 thread in it and then we'll machine the outer down to 16, part it off, turn it round and fucking put an M8 up it. Happy days. I know, let's fucking get you mounted. Oh, uh, misses. <clears throat> Something like that. And get a shot on the fucking road so we'll take a clean up pass new tip what about air look and now we'll check what size that is I don't want to oh, I think the radio is quiet enough that I won't get a copyright strike we're at 17.7 .7, which is considerably bigger than we need. 17, oh, let me double check that. No, we're not. 17.15 bollocks. Exit, sorry. Bashing you about. I'm reaching around. Who are her misses? Right. So, we want it down to 6 mil don't we? For a length of 12 mil. So, we just touch off on that surface. And we'll go 17, we'll go down to 15 for the first cut. Let's see how that goes. It might be too much, but we'll see. Bit of a squealer. Which is not too bad. Right. That's nearly 10 mil. That is 10, 11, 12. So you can join me again when we get nearer the finish side. Right, and that's down to 12. Uh, sorry, 6. For a length of 12, I don't know what I fucking mean, ain't it? Clear as mud, that is. So now, I've just put a wee chamfer on that edge. And we can look at cutting an M6 thread on the end there. Right, we've got the M6 die in our die holder. Plenty of luby dooby snug that old I'll get you a bit better look so you can there you go look at that that is whoa scream if you want to go faster 
that's a proper bird's eye view so let's fucking do it there we go all the way to the end look boosh now we'll reverse it off yeah take it forward again and speed it back up Give it a quick D flow, hey Max. Like that. And if I've done my job right, and he's blowing off actually, it should screw on there. Pretty good. Like fucking so. What's that? Yeah. So now we can have this out more because we need 30 millimeters this way down to uh, 16 millimeters, so. Oh, oh so, uh, what do we want, 16 mil? All right, can we can do that in one pass. Here we go, which is uh, there. Scream if you want to go faster. Bit of a squeal up, but not too shabby. So we'll take that down to the chuck, pretty much. That is, throwing off one big long stringy chip here we go it's breaking again now so I don't want that wrapping around me anyway we'll get that down to about there yeah move this out of the way break that edge and look at parting it off so we're in with a parting tool what did we say we want? 30 millimetres, which is there. Fucking out tight to the fucking truck, Ralph. He'd be right though. Yep. So, we'll get that fed in. Oh no. Take the auto feed off. We'll actually fucking touch it on and then start feeding. Makes sense, doesn't it? Instead of waiting. So, Nice and steady. Keep it lubed up. It's quite a free machine in this stainless. It's, oh, I think it's 303, but I'm not 100%. And come on, off. Oh, there we go, sorted. So, we'll chuck that up and spin it, well, we'll spin it round and chuck it up. So, give that a face up. Come on, put that pip off like so. Break that edge. Right, I've just had him on the phone, he's changed Lee, not him, you don't know what I'm on about, do you? We've just had Lee on the telling bone, <laughs> and he's bringing over a different bat light. So, oh, yeah, find the gear, getting fucking gear, here we go, look, it's going to be one of them, one of them mornings. Right, now we've spun it round, we've faced it off, we've looped up our tool, and we're plunging in with a centre drill, just nice and steady. Well, that's not happy. Feels a bit fucking toy. Feels a bit toy as toyga. That does. I think we're good. Alright, now we can go in with a 6.8. 6 and we want about 25 mil to leave 5 mil at the end, don't we? So, well, there's 10 and so on and so forth. We'll get that down and you can join me when we're uh, ready to tap it out. Give it a little chamfer, eh? like that. Got it. Now, we've slowed things right down. And we are coming in with the machine tap. Right fucking so. And I just want to ease that in gently. You don't want to snap it off. And we've only got 25 mil depth, you know, it's going to bottom out in the hole. There we go, like that. And we'll whack it in reverse and send it out. Nice and steady. Like that. Back into forward. And give it a blow out.
Now that should screw on. Oh, sorry, knocking you about. That should screw on there nicely, though, Joyce. Yeah. Like fucking so. All I need to do now is machine a couple of flats on it, so we'll go over to the milling machine. Hello, folks. So we've got a milling cutter in. We're holding a job in a, a fucking collet block. And we've just touched off and we need one mil off. So 40 thou cut. So I'm just going to wind the nail. 20 thou. And let's see how it goes. Little bit of fucking lube. Right, fucking so. Nice and steady she goes, Captain. Got well, four flute fucking end melt. High speed steel versus oh, sorry, stainless steel. Oh yeah, that's all right. So we'll go another. We'll go just shy, so it'll leave a really fine cut to finish off. So that's that. And now we're back to 40, which is there. So that is one flat done. Uh, oh, I'll show it again, the fucking <coughs> bear with. Yeah, so that's the flat look. And we'll do the same. We'll flip it over, do the same, and then we should be able to get this nice, shiny. 14 mil spanner on it. Um, if you're watching, cheers, Tony. Do the spanner. So we'll put that back in, hard against this face that way, and push down. And then we can wind the table down and back again for a 20 thou cut, which is about there. Crack it on. Let's see what's what. So if I've done my job properly, this should just do it like, you know, like that. Nice and steady. Feels a bit fucking toyed. There you go. So, and now a, a slightly lighter cut. Another 16 thou or so. Like that. And finally. The 40 thou that we need. So I've took a mil off each side of that 16 mil, and that should get us. It's a bit sloppy on this one, eh? Right? Oh, we have a measure. Mm, not over happy, we've got a 13 point fucking. Something's happened like. Oh. It's hard to get a proper measure because it's on the piss. 13 we're at so I want, if I take half a mil off I'll have half inch on there we'll take the slightest skim off and that will get us to um 13 so let's just take a real light skim off this one like that let's see what's that what's that at? best I can measure I'm fucking it right up. It's just over 13. <clears throat> so we'll go another four thou. Sorry, another two thou. Like that. I'm trying some tribulations, ain't it? And then we'll just turn it over. We'll, we'll have it out. Look. Like so. Spin it over. Go again. I'll just tighten that up. Bear with. Come on, baby. Come on, work for me. Ow. Mm. Here we go. That is going to be. Gives us a flat 7 sixteenths fucking 12 mil. Happy days. Right, oh, with that in place, look. The flats match the flats on this rose jointy thing, look, quite nicely. Uh, and I reckon that 
I've screwed that all the way in there and I've screwed this all the way in there so it can only be made longer yeah which will lift the foot peg so if I do it a bit droopy drawers which is going to be somewhere there with that on the frame yeah then we won't be far off or I could do it with that bolt upright but I'm not sure let me have a think about it I'm thinking I don't know if I mentioned it in a previous clip because it's spread out over a few days this filming I might forego these and just fucking mount that direct like you know like one there top one touching the frame and then a bit of triangulation a couple of bits of round stock onto the bottom one so, I might do that, because that's not bad there, isn't it? It's tucked in nice. I think if I have it there, I want, the, the thing you see I want is 90 degrees through this pivot into that. So we're looking like that, if that, that sort of thing. So there, so we've got 90 degrees, so it's pushing square. It don't matter that much, but you know, that's most efficient. So I think I'm gonna use the TIG. And I'm going to tack that top bit one on there and then look at making something else fit. I think that's the best way of doing that. All right, here we go. Look, we've done a bit of triangulation. And that is that, really. That's that side fucking done. This sits rather nicely on there. Like that. It's still quite hot, so I won't hold it there too fucking long. I need to mount this which is not throwing itself at fucking going in a nice spot. What I'll do, uh, there's a, a box to go in here, the battery tray box thing to go in here. That is one. Um, so I'll look at that after. We'll, we'll move around now and I'll get the gear chain linkage done. So, move this out of the way if you can. Yeah, here we go. So, we don't need the Tiggy Winkle or the Megatronic. What we do need is that reversed and flipped over somehow, if it will. And uh, then we need to modify this, don't we? And use these with a bit of that, <laughs> a bit of this, a bit of that, and then Bob's your answer. So it won't work if I spun it round and had that going down, but it just clouts the lever. There's no way I can get from the pivot there to the gear change without fouling. The lever because uh because of where that is if that was lower down yeah then we'd get it but it's not it's in line with that so and you're fouling in here look there's no no clearance and that's countersink these we have countersinks in but even then we'll be tight on here like so it's not going to work that way so we've got to go up we've got to go above now the problem we're going above is this casing sticks out so we can't have it dead upright because it's going to hit the casing, ain't it? Look, try and show you if I can. Hold on, oh, there, look. Oh, maybe it's not. Maybe it's not going to hit the casing, but just damn fuggler, and it's going to hit your foot, isn't it? It's going to be in the way of you, you know. If it comes like this, your foot's going to be this big. At least, so my plan is to trim that off, spin it around, and put it in that way around, look. So it goes inward against the casing, yeah, and then run this to it basically. That's about as neat as we can get. So I'll take this over to the bench. I'm going to hacksaw that off because. I do enjoy using my hacksaw um, and then see about cleaning it off. Right oh, let's focus. There it is, look. But it still fouls. I've, I've tried it on the spline and it fouls the case in this side. If I move it round the spline, it's well too far at this angle. So the only thing I can do really, the only solution I've got is to straighten this up. Now it's not going to bend straight, it's going to break. But if I cut a V out of this side, and then straighten it up and then tick it back. 
Bob's your answer. So I'm going to get the cut off saw. I'm going to cut a V out of this side. I'm going to straighten it up and go from there. Oh, well, not unsurprisingly, that didn't fucking work, did it? We had a crack off. So, that's fine. I'll get his prepped up and take that back on straight. Kind of like that. A little something like that. We not showing you very well. So we'll get our ticked on about there and then fucking hallelujah. Got it kind of supported where we want it. Uh, uh, let's see if I can fucking get, get a tack. I don't know if you can hear me. Get a tack on it. the best but it might fucking do for now so come again this side yes that'll do it right that's welded on there all right there that's dirt knobs surprisingly well um so what i'm gonna do is kind of position this where i want it to be and i want to take some of this off this side because it's still a bit toyed so i'll decide where that is i'll draw around this mark the center drilling tap it m6 and then shape that to suit and then it's fucking happy days ain't it? Right so that's that snidey little doofer uh, we've took it all away, so we've got clearance against the casing, and these are countersunk look, so that'll be flush fitting. So we can kind of go from there, can't we? We can now make up this stainless rod. It's a shame I can't run it on the inside here to line it up better, but I can't because it's going to hit the fucking casing. And like I said, I can't drop it underneath because it just fouls everything, so. I don't know <coughs> of a better way of doing it. Yeah. There we go. So we're going to have a fucking rod like that. Don't we? Come out of here, 45, along there, into there with an M6 each end. So that's where we're at. I'm fucking gas now. So we've dog legged. Well, it's not showing you very well. We've dog legged this bit of fucking stainless rod and we've marked where we're going to cut it off and where we're going to cut the thread so we'll take it over to the bench vise and clamp it in place and use our hacksaw to trim it up use a sander to put a bevel on it and then we will hand cut the thread with a die like so yeah Right, oh, so with a bit of lube <clears throat> and the old answer die. Sorry, I've started it off camera and it's fucking hard work. <laughs> if you don't mind telling you, Just check that square ish, move it around this way, that's square ish. Yeah, so now we can thread this down to where it needs to be, <sighs> like fucking so. I normally go one, two, three, and then back to break the chip. So it's one and a half turns. I think the books tell you three quarters or even half, but you know, in real world terms, we can go a bit more. One, two, three, and back a bit. Well, look at the mark. It's down there. So we've a way to go yet, but I'm sure you get the picture. Yes, we see. There you go. Now I'm back at the old homestead and it just leaves me as always to thank you for watching. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up and a sub. Check out all the bump in the description below and I'll see you on the next one. Big love everyone. See you soon.